So God, we thank you. We thank you for waking us up this morning. And we ask that you, God, will forgive us for every sin that we committed consciously, even unconsciously, that you may hear our prayers and that you may receive our prayers. And so, Lord, we thank you. We want the mercy, your mercy, your grace to continue to flow throughout our lives. And so now that we're here on a different day, a day we've never seen before, you told us uh, in Galatians 6 and 9, you told us, uh, let us not be weary in well-doing and doing good. As you said in due season and at the proper time that you will deliver us and we shall reap a harvest if we don't give up. So God, we thank you, God, that we will not give up. Lord, there are a lot of things that are happening in our life. We will not give up. We won't give up on ourselves. We won't give up on our children. We won't give up on our loved ones, our husbands and our wives. Lord, we thank you for not giving up. Sometimes it gets hard. Sometimes it gets difficult. Easy to turn your back. Easy to walk away. But God, we thank you for divine promises. An ability to stay and hear what you are saying. And knowing that you are speaking, knowing that you are walking through our lives. We thank you that we will prosper in the things of God. We will have the anointing that destroys every yoke in our lives. We thank you for the anointing that destroys yokes in our, in our lives. And this is your day. Our eyes can see. Our ears can hear what the Spirit of God is saying. And so, God, we thank you for all the things you've done and everything that you have moved out of our way so we can prosper in the things that you've given to us, our assignment. And so, God, we ask that you will minister to us. God, we ask, God, that you will minister, stay among us. Lord, right now, minister. Lord, right now, we need you to minister. We need to silence every voice around us. Minister. Lord, we ask that you will move now by the presence of your love for us. And God, we ask God that you will stay among us. Huh? Lord, stay among us. Lord, it's been difficult for many people around the nation, around the world. But God, continue to stay among us. And forgive us for everything, all the people we hurt and, and every person that have wounded us or people that have abandoned us and we abandon them, we forgive ourselves. Everything that has been self-induced in our lives, we are sorry. Lord, we ask God that you will minister to us in our spirit. We need a word from the Lord as we minister in prayer. We want you to understand. We want you to inspire us. We want you to motivate us so that we can be strong and have the energy uh, to serve you how you desire to serve you. And so we come off of our bed of affliction as we prayed yesterday, Father. You delivered and set free. I, God, we experienced a move of God yesterday uh, doing healing. And God, many believed and they received. And so, God, we ask in your name that you, you do a mighty work today. And as we continue to move in prayer. You do a mighty work. You move in our lives. You shut doors. You open doors that you so desire. But God, we shall reap. We shall reap good things. In 2022, we reap good things. Not bad things. Things that will grow us up and cause us to uh, develop to our fullest potential. So everything that comes out of our mouth and our language shall be kingdom. Everything that we think out of our mind shall be all things of God. Lord, we thank you for all things of God. This is your year, God. This is your year. So stay among us. Uh, stand among us. Stay a little longer. Uh, 
Lord, stay a little longer, God. We need you now. And so, God, we ask, God, that you will minister to us and, and you will uh, break every spirit of obstacles in our life. Because every obstacle in our life is sent to keep something of value from us. Lord, every obstacle in our life is sent to keep something valuable from us. And so, God, we thank you, God, that there is no obstacles in our life because you have stood the test of time and you you prayed for us and, and you fought this battle for us. And so, God, we thank you there is no obstacle in our life. We speak in the now today for now faith. It's a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We know that you are able. We know that you are a deliverer. And so we ask now out of our human, out of our human mouth, out of our spiritual mouth, Lord, we are not guarded, but God, we are free to roam and to speak and to release. Lord, we thank you for the ability to, to release and to speak, uh, and to release and to speak that which we so desire. And that you will do a mighty work on the inside. That you will bless us on the inside. And when it flows on the outside. That our language and that we advance kingdom. At every doorstop. And at every turn. That there is no more. No more. No more. We've been made and do it for a night. But joy coming in the morning for everybody this morning. Everybody in the afternoon. We thank you on the east coast. We thank you for the West Coast. We thank you for the South and the North, the Midwest. We thank you for your hand upon the earth, the hand upon the world. And so, God, we thank you for seeing about us even in the now. We want to take our time knowing that we want you to embrace us just where we are. The obstacles have been dismissed. Uh, uh, the obstacles in our life has been dismissed. Her eyes do not see and experience obstacles in our lives. Uh, and just to grow us up, God, we thank you, God. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, so that you can grow and develop us to our fullest potential. We want to grow in you, God. Uh, even this season, you, you came into our lives uh, when we were hopeless, uh, when we couldn't see, when we couldn't hear. We felt like we were dominated. Uh, we felt as though we were controlled by the world around us. Uh, but thank you, we are no longer controlled by the world around us. We are no longer dominated. We are no longer living in support messaging. We are no longer walking in spirits uh, that would tie us down where we are cloudy in our minds, cloudy in our spirits. Uh, eyes closed, ear they stopped up. But God, we thank you for God for your manifestation. We thank you for every spirit uh, of heaven, everything that you've given us uh, and that we do it well. We do it well. And so we thank you, God, uh, for opening our mouths, God. Uh, so, God, we ask in your name, God, uh, that you will bring us balance, God. Uh, balance in every area of our life. Uh, balance in our homes. Uh, balance with our relationships, uh, with our husbands and wives and children. Lord, we thank you, God, uh, for the male and the females. Uh, we thank you for the gender, genders uh, that you've created after your own image in your likeness. Uh, Thank you for your spiritual authority upon our lives. Uh, you loved us the most. Uh, you care for us the most. Uh, we will never let you down. Uh, we are sorry, Lord. Uh, forgive us for everything that we have done. Uh, we, we're crying out now, God. Uh, and we are lamenting and let you know we can't do nothing without you. We, we're telling you now, even for our children, as we stand in the gap over our, for our children, we can't do nothing without you. We are men most miserable without the hope of God in our lives. We ask that you will do a great work on the inside. We want you to move in our hearts, God. Saturate, God. Clean up, God. Purify, God. Everything about us, God. Let it be purified, God. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against everything that tried to stop us. To stop us from moving forward and to forge ahead for every assignment that you've given to us in the earth. We see, we see, we see 
and we see and we see the temptation of the enemy but God we will not walk in them for the spirits are indeed willing but the flesh is weak God and we thank you God that we are stronger now we are stronger now because you are Shekinah glory we are stronger now because you are residing with us even right now there is an angel residing with us for our protection and we thank you right now we need the move of God we need you to move right now we need you to step out in our lives right now it doesn't matter what you decide to do we expect a miracle from God we expect changes to happen in our life. Uh, minds change. Uh, having a will to live. Uh, having a will to go ahead. Next steps. Uh, having a will to obey. Obey. Obey out of my mouth. I'm sorry, Lord. Uh, we're sorry, Lord. Uh, we're sorry for mistreating you. We're, we're sorry for asking for things uh, that we know we we were we were not worthy to receive. Uh, but you gave it anyway. Uh, only according to your will, God. Uh, but God, we ask in your name, God, uh, that we'll see, God, uh, we'll move in, God, uh, we'll talk in, God, uh, we will stand in, God, uh, for everybody that cannot stand in. But God, we ask in your name uh, that you will do a miraculous work, God, uh, but minister to us, God, uh, even in the airways, uh, set up the atmosphere. Lord, we thank you for the atmosphere. We thank you for the climate. Uh, uh, for the move of God now we ask in the name God uh, even in our spirit God uh, that you would do a great work on the inside of us uh, and we are prosper in the spirit uh, we are prosper in the spirit uh, you want us to prosper in the spirit uh, you want us to lament in the spirit uh, you want us to fall down on our knees in the spirit uh, you want us to raise our hands to surrender in the spirit uh, you said it you would be there just when we need you the most. Sometimes the pain in the body is great, but you are always there. Ah, oh my God, I thank you for always being there. We thank you for deliverance. Deliverance for our children. Deliverance from drugs. Deliverance from our own self. Deliverance from low self-esteem. Deliverance from everything that becomes an obstacle in our lives that keeps us from moving forward. We thank you for it now. We thank you for it now. We understand that you are God and God alone. We expect a miracle from the heaven. We expect, we expect, uh, we expect a miracle. We need the supernatural move of God. We need a supernatural move of God now. In our spirit, we need it now. We trust it now. We need a divine turnaround now. We need a divine blessing now. We need you to bless us now, even in our lips. Uh, let us not be afraid uh, to release that which is you have given, God. Uh, Lord, we, God, we stand, God. Uh, we will never quench the spirit. Uh, we will never abandon you. Uh, we will never abandon you. Uh, we will never quench the spirit. Uh, Lord, we thank you that we won't despise, uh, prophesy and speaking in faith uh, over our children, over our lives, uh, releasing the gospel of God uh, over their lives. We will not stop speaking. We will not stop speaking over our bodies. We will not stop speaking. We shall release the power of God through the mercy seat of God upon our heads, upon our hands, upon our lips. And so you mentor us. We want you to mentor us. You want to send men, God. Send men at your own heart, God. Let them mentor God. The young men, God. Oh, Lord, help God. Help the men, God. Let them grow up, stay home, build their children, God. Run, pray over them. Lay their hands on them. Embrace them. Send them in home. Let them stay home. Break the fear. Send the resources to the family, God. Send resources. God kind of resources to the family, God. We need God now. We need the mercy of God now. Send the resources. Send the mentors. We want you to mentor us so we can mentor others. We want you to coach us. Coach us into the promise. Mm, 
Lord, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. You've done the great work on the inside. We open our eyes this morning to realize that you are good. We had our ears. We can hear everything because you are so good. And so, God, we thank you. Thank you for patience, God. Patience with ourselves. Uh, uh, Lord, help us to have patience with ourselves. Slow our minds down. Slow our spirits down. Slow everything around us down so we can hear what you're saying to the church. You're speaking now, God, in a still, small voice. We need you to come in, God. We need you to elevate us, God. You, we need your promises, God, to be unveiled in our lives. We thank you for your glory. Lord, that is nothing like your glory. It's nothing like the anointing that destroys every yoke. There is nothing, there is nothing the, above you, God, in every essence of the word, uh, deliver us uh, so we can have patience. Uh, patience with our children uh, as we embrace them. Uh, patience with our children. Patience, it doesn't matter how old they are. Uh, patience with our children. Uh, let us slow down and listen uh, to what God is saying to you uh, to give a word to your child so they can live for tomorrow. Though we cast down every spirit uh, around the nation of death among our children, all of the illegal activities, uh, we shut it down right now. Lord, we ask in your name, uh, let mom and dad come together uh, and raise their children uh, in the admiration. Uh, let them raise their children uh, to build them up. Uh, let them raise their children. Uh, oh, mama, share it. Let them raise their children. Uh, uh, to speak uh, as the Spirit of God has spoken into their lives uh, way before they were born. Uh, you, God, you gave them a word, God. Uh, Lord, you sanctified them, God. Uh, sanctify the whole family, not just one mother, not just one father, but God, sanctify the whole family. Let them begin to rise up, God. Rise up in your glory, God. Uh, let them begin to know that you're able and you sit among them. Uh, even in their room uh, where they're sitting and listening uh, that you're moving in a miraculous way uh, you're moving in a divine way you're pressing your way into their lives uh, and they are lamenting and crying together Lord bring the family back to the table let them sit at the table let them sit at the table so that you can move God uh, so you can be the mist uh, at the table God uh, and speak to the father and the mother as they release the word of God to the children, Lord, as they protect, as you protect them, Lord, through the word of God, so strengthen them now. Strengthen the whole family now. Bring the resources to the family now. We break and destroy the spirit of separation, but elevation in you, God, every spirit, God, that will come to destroy a family. Let the father stay. Let the mother stay. Lord, ask God, we ask God, give her the resources. Bless her life. Bless her loins. Lord, bless the mother, God. Lord, give her the strength to stand in the gap. Give her the strength to know her. And the children know that my mama, my mother is a praying mother. My father is a praying father. Let them know, God, that they are, that you're there standing in a place of breakthrough. Breakthrough in their lives, God. Saturate, protect the family. The mother, God, working hard for the whole family. Give her, God, time. Give her time. Give her resources. Bless her life, God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Bless the man, God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. And that he'll stand tall and be strong. His masculine self, his soul self, his willingness to obey God, standing tall, strong, strong, and tall. Lord, we thank you for the man, God. After your own heart, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for the strength of the man, God. We thank you for the wisdom of the man, standing and covering his family, God. Above every man is Christ. Above every wife is a husband. But God, I ask 
lifted your name, God, as they walk together uh, in God, as they walk together, God, you bless them. You bless them uh, as they walk together, uh, hand in hand. Uh, you bless them right now. Let them walk together, uh, hand in hand. Uh, break down confusion. Uh, break down jealousy. Uh, break down anything, God, uh, that keep them separated. Uh, and so, God, we thank you, God. Uh, you have settled the cause. Uh, now they are together again. Uh, now they are understanding their place in the family. Father knows his role. Mother knows her role. The children knows their role. And so God, there is God. No uh, bankruptcy. Uh, bankruptcy in the spirit. There is no bankruptcy. And there is no rebellion in the family no more. We speak against it right now. Walk not in rebellion from the south and the north. From the east and the west. Even in the midwest. We walk not in rebellion. But God, we thank you in advance. We thank you in, in advance. We are motivated, God. We are encouraged. What you have already done, you have encouraged us to pray and to lament and to cry over and to stand to bless all the families, whatever they may be, and that no one struggle in 2022. That they know that the Lord thy God, He heareth thee. That the Lord thy God, uh, he takes care of thee. Uh, he's El Shaddai. Uh, he's Jehovah Jireh. Uh, he's Jehovah Shalom. Uh, he's Jehovah Shishkenu. Uh, but I bless the Lord. Uh, we bless the Lord. Uh, every family, we bless the Lord. Uh, every child, we bless the Lord. Uh, your glory. Uh, who is the king of glory? Uh, the Lord strong and mighty. Who is the king of glory? Uh, the Lord strong and mighty. Mighty in battle. Uh, we we battle not on our own time. We not we're not battling between one another. We are battling against uh, unclean spirits uh, that try to change our identity, uh, that try to change our mind about God, uh, to change our lives, how we should live. Uh, but God, we thank you, God, uh, for giving us the ability in the spirit uh, to stand and to stand, uh, to stand to stand. Uh, we are not powerless uh, without you, God. Uh, you are powerful. Uh, you are the glory of God. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. There is none like you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. We thank you for it. And so heal our hearts, God. And while you're healing our heart, God, Lord, we ask God, we are no more vulnerable, God. No more vulnerable to the enemy, God. We, God, you say, think on the good things. We are no longer vulnerable to the kingdom, the kingdom of the enemy. We're no longer vulnerable. We're no longer set up. Oh my God is set down. We will do your will, God. God, we just want you to lead us in your glory, God. We want you to lead us through the anointing, God. We want you to lead us and guide us through the Holy Ghost. We want the Holy Spirit to guide us, God. Not just talking about it. Not just but reading about it. We want to live about it. We want to walk. God, thank you for walking in integrity. Thank you for obedience. Thank you for, Lord, our character. Lord, thank you for our character. It's good character, good behavior, right relationships, good integrity. Have an integrity, God, that don't stop. Stop you from blessing us. Stop you from laying your hands on us. Stop you from protecting us. We walk in integrity. The God kind of integrity. The God kind of obedience. The God kind of behavior. Yes, uh, even in our spirit, uh, we want you to do a greater work on the inside of us. Uh, we don't want to live, God, uh, outside your will, God. Uh, heal our hearts, God. Uh, let us forgive uh, all of those that hurt us, abandoned us, uh, have uh, walked away, God, from us. Uh, Lord, heal our heart uh, so we can forgive ourselves uh, and everything that's been self-induced. Uh, and every sin we walked in, uh, you say you'll forgive us. Uh, and God, you say you'll throw it, God, uh, away in a sea of forgetfulness. Uh, and you remember them no more. Uh, thank you for your glory. You don't remember our sins no more. 
thank you for your glory. We thank you for your promises. You did it because you loved us. You did it because you cared for us. You did it because of salvation. You want to restore us so you can have your way in our lives. And so we can be an instrument. Be the youth of God. So God, we thank you right now for your glory, for your salvation, for holiness, God. And so God, we break down and destroy him. Every spirit of failure, our failure, failure. We break and destroy the spirit of failure. Failure, God. Failure, wandering, God. Our fear of tomorrow, what tomorrow may bring. We shut it down right now because we shall prosper. And everything that God has given, we shall prosper. And everything we lay our hands to, we shall prosper. For everything we think is good, we shall prosper because we shall the Lord said it. We shall prosper. If we don't give up, we won't give up on you, God. So don't give up on us, Lord. We shall prosper. We walk not in the fear. Fear of success. Fear of walking away. When God said walk away, fear of walking in. When God said walk in, fear of moving and changing zip codes because God said change zip codes. So God, we thank you for success. Success in every area of our life. We thank you for salvation success. We thank you for holiness success. And so we thank you for it. And every fear and our low self-esteem break it right now. Lord, we thank you for broken self-esteem. We are greater, God. You said we are above and not beneath. We are lender and not above. Lord, open our eyes. Open our spirit. Open our understanding. They know that the God, he's a God that loves us. He's a God that cares for us. He's a God that strengthens us. He's the God that opens our eyes. He's a God that closes our eyes. He's a God that feeds us. He's a God that will walk with us. He's a God that put clothes on our backs. He's a God that put roof over our heads. He's a God that sustains us. He's a God. He's a God. He is the God. He is God. He is God. He is God. He is God that gives us the ability to walk. He is God that gives us the ability to talk. He's God. God, God. He is God that gives us the ability to comprehend, to understand. Thank you for a good head. Thank you for the brain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We take it not for granted. We walk not in fear. We thank you we walk not in seduction. We shall never be seduced by the enemy. We thank you. We thank you. We never shall walk in immorality. We are sorry. We won't walk in carnality. We are sorry. We move from that place to our God's base and we thank you for it. We thank you for the authority to speak life and not death. We thank you for moving upon our lives. We are men most miserable, God, without you in our lives. We are men most miserable without you in our life. So we thank you for uh, divine healing. We thank you for miracles are happening right now. Families are coming together. Sons coming home. Daddy coming home. Mom coming home. The children coming together. And they are sitting together. And they are sitting at the table together. And there is no fear. There is no jealousy. There is nothing God that will separate them. And God nothing will separate us from the love of God. Is there anything God that surrounds us that will separate us? Lord nothing will shall separate us from the love of God. So we stand here watching and praying waiting God for you. Waiting now God. Now that you're here God. You move God now God. Lord, we are awakened, God, out of our deep sleep, God, even in our winter season, God. You have done a great work on the inside and made us better. So now our eyes are open, wide open, God. Lord, not walking into temptation because you made a way of escape. You made a way of escape. And we thank you for.
forth for a way to escape for every temptation amongst us on television, every temptation that's on the newscast, every temptation that's on the job, every temptation, Lord, from junk mail, every temptation that's around us. My God, I thank you right now that you have done a great work on the inside of us right now. And we thank you, God. You say you will forgive us, and we thank you for it. You thank you for it. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you that you will forgive us. Men will never forgive us. We thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for turning our lives around. We thank you for not being hopeless, but built up. We thank you. We thank you for forgiving us. We thank you for making us. We thank you for creating us. And we take it not for granted the good things that you've done through us and what you're about to do through us. And so our hands are raised. Our mouths are open. We are lamenting and crying. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done. That is in earth. Thy will be done. We thank you for it. Let your will be done upon our lives. Let your will be done upon the lives of our family, but on the inside of us. Uh, let I let you know uh, you can do what you want to do. Uh, you can speak into our lives. Uh, you can move into our lives. Uh, you can take residence. Uh, 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 you can take residence uh, in our lives. Uh, for our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we want you to reside and dwell there. Don't you leave us, God. Uh, minister to us uh, throughout the day. Minister to us uh, throughout the day. We'll never leave you. Minister to us uh, uh, through our ear gates, and through our eye gates, and through our understanding. And, and let us know that you're able. Let us know that you're there. You never left us. We left you. Uh, but now we have returned back to you. Uh, and by uh, embracing you uh, as you embrace us. Uh, you say, come boldly to the throne of grace. Uh, and we are here now. Uh, just as we are. Uh, broken and torn. Uh, some of us are messed up from the flow up. Uh, we are here uh, awaiting uh, for your arrival. Uh, now that you sit and wait. Uh, we come boldly to the throne of grace. Uh, with every addiction upon our lives. Uh, we come boldly to the throne of grace uh, with every addiction upon our lives. Uh, we come boldly to the throne of grace. Uh, we can't fix ourselves. Uh, we can't fix ourselves. Uh, we come boldly for a divine change, uh, for the supernatural change. And then, Lord, we thank you. We close. We close every door. We shut every door. Lord, we close every door. We shut every door. Everything that's not like you, we shut every door. We want to be clean. We want our garments clean. We want to be sanctified. We want to touch other lives. We want to restore people that are crying. We want to restore people that have failure in their lives. We want to be able to help restore the lives of those that are broken, about to commit suicide, need salvation in their lives. We want to restore Restore, restore, restore our nation, restore our nation, restore our nation, restore the ministries, restore your ministries, Re Re Lord, restore, send resources to your ministries, the one that you created. You said many are called, but few are chosen. Lord, we understand there are a lot of false prophets. But God, restore your people. Restore the people you call. Give the resources. Lord, don't let them die in the winter season. Lord, restore them. Restore. Bring a revival. Restore. Bring a revival. Restore. Lord, bring a revival. Not a church revival. But a soul reaching a revival. Bring a revival even in the homes where they're going before God in the home and you're speaking. Lord, thank you, God, for revivals in the home. 
Lord, restore. Restore with a canker worm to be eaten. And everything had been broken and torn. Restore every wall. Thank you, Lord. You said all these good things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive surrender. Thank you, Lord. And everything we pray, it's already done. We, you told us to pray without ceasing. You told us to pray with the motive to be a blessing to everybody. Not just somebody, but everybody. You told us to restore those who are unfair, they have failed. And we have done that. You told us, God, to forgive. And we have done that. And so we wait for your manifestation. Now we wait for your demonstration. Now we wait for and tarry for. Uh, oh yeah. There's not like you. There's not like you. There's not like you. There's not like you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, there's not like you. We can rest at night. There's not like you. There's not like you. for the light. We no longer live in darkness. Ah. We no longer live in darkness. Thank you for the light. Thank you for the resting place. Thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you, Jesus. For bringing everything together again. Thank you for the spiritual warfare. Thank you for prophesying life and death. Here's in the power of my tongue. We desire to speak life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, thank you, Jesus. Love, love, love. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. Thank you for allowing us to hear from you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You have been listening to Family Life Outreach Center Church Live Service. We thank you for your continued prayers and taking time to listen to this message of hope. We hope that the message found you edified, comforted, and exhorted.
for continued daily worship while advancing the kingdom of God through your obedience. Again, thank you, and may you and your family experience a God kind of breakthrough and increase for every natural and spiritual endeavor.